Are you ready to get started with Google Optimize? You want to create an experiment, but you have never even logged in to Google Optimize before? Well then, this video is for you. I'm going to go to my computer and show you how to get started. If you already have access to Google Optimize and you want to start setting up experiments, then look for the link below to the video showing you how to create your first A-B test. Okay, let's go to my computer so I can walk you through how to do this. Okay, let's start by going to optimize.google.com. You might see this if you're already logged in. If you're not logged in, you'll have to go through that process first. You just log into your Google account and then you'll end up on this particular page. If instead you see a page that wants you to create an account, like this one, or you see a page that wants you to create an experience, like this one, then you're already past this point. In either of these cases, continue on with the video showing you how to create your first A-B test. That link is below. But for now, we're concerned about seeing this page, getting started. This is your first step. So if you're here and you're with me now, go ahead and click on the Get Started button. Now you'll sign up for emails to get the most out of your Google Optimize and you can choose yes or no. So do you want tips and recommendations? Sure, you might want that. Do you want product announcements? Latest features, updates, product announcements coming to you by email? I get enough email, so maybe not that one. Market research, would you like to participate in Google Market Research to help us improve Google Optimize? Well, I don't know, maybe Google Optimize could be better, so how about yes? Once you've filled out all three of these, then you click the Next button. Since I've been through this process, before, I'm actually going to choose no thanks to all of these. Then choose your account settings. So they're going to create your first Google Optimize account for you. You can change the settings at any time, but you need to have a Google Optimize account because that's where you will create your experiments. So let's see, what do we want? By default, it looks like we've got the benchmarking and in-depth analysis turned on. You can share your data if you'd like. That's Again, it's up to you. You do have to come down and acknowledge the terms of service, the data processing terms, and the uh, measurement controller, controller data protection terms. So make sure all those are confirmed, and then you can finish off here. Now, since I'm in the United States, I probably don't have to do all three of these. I think I can get away with just the first one. Let me try that. And then you end up on this page. This is where you're ready to create your first experience. And this is where we begin in the next video, which is creating your first A-B test. So I'm gonna end this here because if you're seeing this, you're already set up in your Google Optimize. The account exists for you. So continue on with the next video. Well, that was quick, right? But all this did was set up your initial Google Optimize account. Now, the real work begins. You need to set up an experiment and run the test. The first one I will show you is the A-B test. There is also a redirect test and a multivariate test. For an overview of these, please refer to my Google Optimize A-B testing intro video. The link is below. Before you leave, please click the subscribe button and the little bell for notifications. That way, you'll know when I publish new videos. Your business deserves to be seen online, and I will help you get there. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.